Still you can't be fed up Go girls with the left and the right Go green like the What is up guys? Son of Beast here And the moment that you've been waiting for The end of the regular season From round one is game seven between Utah and OKC Funders. We're finding out who will win after they took a win for the Utah Jazz to tie up 3-3. And now the sudden death battle is on. Can Chris Paul's team move on? Or will the Utah Jazz take on against the Houston Rockets? Or will it be Dallas Mavericks? I don't I don't have any suggestions to say about that, but that's all I have to take care of. It. So anyway, let's get right into the game. Back at the Chesapeake Arena. And we'll see what we can do from here. So right now, Mavericks, Mavericks, Heat, Sixers, and then, uh, then the Bucks um, had, made, had made their way to the end of the finish line of the first round. Now they're heading on to the second round. And Raptors wins their wins the series, too. And then it's... Uh, I forgot what it is. But anyway... Let's see what we have here in the Chesapeake Arena as this downtown the city of OKC about to be turning up. Mike Conley with Donovan Mitchell and Chris Paul with Steven Adams. They're coming up next. Right after this. I think this might be very really exciting to see what was happening. We never done a game from game seven, but we're gonna see what the pregame show is about. Tonight we'll be watching the Utah Jazz playing against the Thunder in Oklahoma City. Checking out Oklahoma City. Nice job they've been doing over the last ten games. Eight wins and not having too many problems. You look at the success this Utah team has had the last few seasons. Shaq, a lot of it stems from their willingness to work on D. It all starts with the big man Rudy Gobert. One of the best rim protectors in the game just funnels things in his direction. Well, it's not just Gobert, though, Shaq. They got a lot of capable defenders up and down that roster. Plus, you have a coach in Snyder, and he was a really good defensive-minded coach. With the game just about ready to begin, we send it to Kevin Harlan with the call. Really good here for that time as uh, Rudy Gobert and the other team. He's strong. Picks up six blocks the last game. I think he's doing really hard to get back into that time. But if, uh, but if you're thinking that we want to get back into the game, I think this might be a very nice time to see what is going on from here. Now, the Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, will be here in just a moment. So here's a look at the Western Conference one more time as LA Lakers picks pick up 50 wins against the Clippers after the LA showdown is over. It was simply very nice. To, uh, to see what was happening here. And by that time, Denver Nuggets are out for the season. Rockets are moving on to the next round. So, and finally, it's uh, the Bucks with the, Ra and the Raptors. Right now, let's find out what David Aldridge has to say about. Here we go. Here. David, with an update. Well, the writing was on the wall for the end of the grit and grind era in Memphis. So Mike Conley, the Grizzlies' all-time leader in points, assists, three-pointers, and games played, knew it was time for him to part ways with the organization. And joining Utah, Conley is on a team with a chance to once again compete deep into the playoffs. And Kevin, he's a significant upgrade for the Jazz. Joining from Mike Conley, we definitely didn't know about that one, but now here's the starting lineups. Rudy Gobert and Steven Adams are the key matchup of the, of the center. But Donovan Mitchell and Shane and Jordan Alexander are also in a key matchup, too. Right now, their key matchup is back in as Steven Adams gets strong, but Rudy Gobert gets even stronger than Steven Adams. Coach Snyder and Coach Billy Donovan are back to take Take it back from uh, Game 7. Let's find out the finish of Sudden Death. Here we go. It's Utah win with a tip-off. 
And we are starting right now. Here we go, folks. This is this road ends in road the game in round one. Conley against Paul. Fires from, Fires from deep. Sinks, the sinks it the triple. Mike a first three with a shocking. Keep the defense Pass to Dort. Around. And O'Neal with the with the tough D. Nobody covered it. But O'Neal takes a three also. He's not going to miss that. So that's Conley and O'Neal with the three point outside. Dort passes to Adams. Adams with the layup. That's the first two for the uh, for Stephen Adams. Along with the uh, along inside the paint. Did really well to keep him wow, to keep a, him, uh, a safe down. distance. Can't do that against good scores. Utah's gone two or two from Utah's the Utah's going for two for two back in the last game in season, in season three, I believe. I don't know if I don't know if I'm correct, but I might be thinking it might be season one. Second chance points. Only the second chance points was the uh, was Rudy Gobert that was ever put it up in position. Shay back to Paul to Adams. Fouls going on Bogdanovich. Would have been calling the bounce pass right from Gallinari. What almost would have been a loose ball foul. Has always been a great defender, but now he is an important cog on this. Adams shooting two. Stop the clock at 5:40. Let's see how well he does. He didn't seem to really care about the first shot, but maybe the second shot will. And he's good. He's got the second one, but that's not quite enough to get there back in time. Four from the field is turned Four or four from the field, and Conley rolling on the outside. O'Neal with the screen. Right side, he finds Bogdanovich. Gallinari. To cover, Gobert and Adams. Out a lot of room. Conley out of room. Five on the clock. O'Neal still tight. Here's a shot. It's off. Gobert off the target. Gilbert Alexander has his first rebound of the night. That's a five-point game for the uh, for each team. Shai with a layup move and a finish. Now they're trailing by three. They're looking for some more. Sometimes they just take longer to find their path in the NBA. And Adams has cut back, cut in, or or like a or a set of drives. Donovan Mitchell with the first miss. Wouldn't be surprised to see. We're down to 440 left. Gallinari passed the ball. Ball with the crossover. Passes to Gail Gordon to Alexander. Here's Dort. Here's Dort on the right. Over O'Neal. Over His first shot goes in. What a nice shot for, uh, for Dort. And good pass by, by Gail Gordon to Alexander. That's his uh, first assist for Shea Gail Gordon to Alexander. Now, here's Conley. Only three points for Conley, but not just enough two points. Kicks it to Mitchell. Kicks it to Mitchell. Mitchell, fadeaway jumper. Makes it in, the first jump. That's two points for Donovan Mitchell. Four minutes gone by. Let's try to make it tough on him. Chris Ball coming in right away by Gobert. I mean, O'Neal. Ball outside. Setting him out of the way, but didn't he seem to care him. about it. Gallinari with the save. Gobert, Gobert trying to hold it. And it didn't save it much to tie it up. Conley lead, Conley's team leading by three. Bogdanovich with a line. Drive and goes in. Only two points are on the board, but not, but not everybody else has a... As a two-pointer, ready to go toe to toe, and will not be passed off to Gilbert and Alexander. Ball outside, three. That's the first three-pointer for Chris Paul to start off in the first quarter. 
not just uh, Mike Conley and Royce O'Neal with the shot, but only uh, Chris Paul did. Bogdanovich to O'Neal. He had a 15 point out in your last game against Still covered, but O'Neal has it. Timeout called by Funder. Their first timeout with 251 remaining. 14 to 10 to score. And we're gonna fix it up again. Let's have a let's make some uh let's change the better offense so we'll so we can stay better at the pace. Dealing with picks. This is not, might not be a better idea. It might be alright. And then, uh, let's... We gotta find what, what we were looking for. We gotta find some pick and rolls. And someone needs to cover, uh... Royce O'Neal. Dort needs to cover, uh, Royce O'Neal. Just make it ice. Three to four top, you can go back up and the pacing again. Here are some new changes for the OKC and Utah as Ferguson is checked in by Dort. O'Neal is out and Ingles is checked in. And Davis comes in for uh, Madonovich. And all five players are subbing in and out. Muscala going for the three. And again, they missed. Muscala didn't save the three that much. Clarkson rolls it up behind, and that's too easy to find. Kevin, easy to find to put up from here. Every team looks to get a switch. Find Schroeder. That's the first two that we're looking for. Schroeder's guy's first bucket of the night. Assist by Muscala. 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 I can't. I can't pronounce what what is what the what the pronouncing last name could be. Moutier finds Gobert. Gobert cuts it in. Foul and one. Diallo with the first personal foul. Salute to the uh, Utah fans out there. Not even showing what he's looking at. The Stifle Tower. Stifling the tower. So strong. And he's and he's more better than uh, than Stephen Adams. One shot remaining for Gobert. It switches. He he straddles those two needs better than anyone in the league. Gobert didn't seem to care about one shot. Only two made. Stay even. They call him the Stifle Tower. Muscala back to Ferguson. Foundation of this Screen on Noel. Changes the complexion of the game. Almost turned out to be a turnover, but Gobert stopped it. Usual for him, just a lack of concentration. Fails to finish. The Eagles play. outside. Eagles can't. Eagles can't down. connect the three. Thunder trailing by six. Thunder trailing by six. Shooter outside. The three pointer is off target here. Nobody tried to try to make the three point range. Moutier against Diallo. Fadeaway jumper with a fake. Davis back to Ingles. Five on the shot clock. He's tightly guarded. He's going up. The rebound by Gobert. The three point for. Uh, it's for Moody, Moody and it's, it's off target. This game coming after a loss against the Jazz. They played it. They played a game they after they got the out and lost against the against the Jazz in Game Six. To the wing right side. But Ferguson might be recovering it more Ferguson often, but we may not know if he's if he's going to ever save it. Here's Muscala. The three. Both teams, both players made the three. One for Chris Paul and one for Muscala. Second try. Here's Clarkson. Only two points for him by making the layup. Clarkson passes to Gobert, rolls over to Moutier. This is the to Clarkson. From 12 feet out, Gobert. Oh, what a putback by Gobert. A second chance points are just pulling it back so much. They wouldn't count them a bucket ever. Passes the Schroeder. Schroeder, right over to Muscala. Schroeder taking the three. Gobert, Gobert seemed to really care about rebounding the ball. 
one. That's number nine for Gobert. The buzz beater, and it makes it in. Clarkson's got his second bucket of the game to go. And that's the end of the first half. This since they come up with a slow start. 20, 22 to 15. But the second quarter might be better. We'll be right back after this. The steel stain is just something that I've always had a knack for doing and just uh, I think it's because I watch so much basketball. Well, you know about what Chris Paul has gotten into it so far. He's done many games back in the last season with uh, Clint Capella. Oh, Moutier! He did have it. He did take the ball away. Oh, almost lost it. Ingles against Ferguson. After a turnover by OKC, here's uh, Ingles. The jumper. Nerland Nolan's out of the way. Ed Davis, oh, put the back. The first point comes in for Davis. 620 to find this figure. The foul going on Clarkson. His first. And then Diallo will shoot for two, looking hard out there, but it's, uh, but it's off the target that was going to go in the first time he was going to get it. Coach Quinn Snyder doing really well with, uh, with, with all the players on the Utah Jazz team. Diallo is trying his best to shoot two. Diallo makes the first free throw. Rudy Gobert is checked out, and Bogdanovich is checked in. And Davis switches off to the center. Flow to the game? Yeah, I think so. I know we have so many, so much stop. Diallo with one shot. When they go to the referee, trying his, uh, trying his balance to, uh, to make but sure he makes it in. Drop the number of timeouts to keep the flow of the game. That's what most I didn't let him have a timeout. I didn't. The game I didn't time him out that time. He, he's, he's fine doing his own. I think he's doing well. That's basket counts it for Bradanovich and Schroeder has its first personal foul. New changes for OKC. Donovan on the final year of his deal. Tough contest here, but it made it. Billy Donovan not gain, not. Not, he, not able to uh, help his team try to get a better defense to, to stop the block. But one shot will be Bogdanovich. Loud CD going loud. He makes it first one, not by Gobert, but only Bogdanovich makes one in. He stays focused really well. Ferguson outside. The three pointers off. Bogdanovich with the rebound. But really in the rebounding numbers as well. Are we switching to two or three? There must be. There must be another transition to get for Clarkson. Clarkson. Screen on Ed Davis. A solid D for uh, for the Thunders. Oh, lost the ball by Shea. Get Gorgeous Alexander. It turns the other way. Let's go over to David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, coming into the 2017 draft, Donovan Mitchell wasn't sure he was ready for the NBA. Mitchell said, I worked out in the summer with Paul George and Chris Paul. They were the ones who convinced me to keep my name in the draft. They said, look, you're good enough. Just go out there and show it. And Kevin, through a couple of seasons in Utah, that's exactly what Mitchell has done. He has made an, he has made an excellent points for Donovan Mitchell. Yeah. After the foul on Shaik and Gordon Alexander, he made... Mitchell comes uh, in Clarkson made two, two free throws that by the time he made. George coming in. That's good. Dort has a second bucket of the night. And on point. Not even tied up, but uh, but the whole point comes to an effort here. Two minutes now, played in the second quarter. Just coming down to five minutes. Conley passes to Davis. Steven Adams. Got a contest. Oh! What a putback by Ed Davis putting in, and we're gonna have to check that replay out once the game is over. 
the paint. That's an area. They uh, I don't. I don't know what his average is, but I. But you know what? It might be all right. Back to Paul. Paul. Over Conley. Over Conley. That one off. That was off target. Jazz leading by. Jazz leading by. Bogdanovich passes to. I forgot what he's saying. And Donovan Mitchell with the second. Assist by Conley. Assist by Conley. Mitchell's got his second basket. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading. Shoei with a nice jump move. Gilbertus Alexander has four points. We're down to 415 left. Conley against Paul. Conley scanning the He is off to Mitchell. Puts it up from 12. Here's Davis. And oh, the block by Steven Adams with the first one comes in. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. He's covered by Clarkson. Finding motions out outside. With an average of around 19 and a half points. Right from Stephen Adams. Constant for that. Like Paul for three. And it's Paul, and it's Paul missing. And force facing at a premium. They need him to hit these shots. Made just that one in the first. Here's Mitchell. I'm leaving it off. Adore with the makes a rebound. Thunder trailing by 13. Thunder trailing by 13. With Steven Adams. Here's Adams. Might be off in the way. Oh, he almost knocked it out of here. Almost called a technical. I mean, almost called a charging foul. Clarkson, no good. But I was close. You know, we always talk about that. That still keeps Thunder's ball alive with three minutes. Has blocked it. After the block by Ed Davis. Time I call by OKC with three minutes. 33 to 20. And we're going to fix it over right right when we get back on the court. Just help just help it out on the uh, guard on the outside of a defense for uh He's putting up for each players of uh, OKC. Two assists. Yeah, he's been making Shai. Oh, Stephen Adams would have saved it. But it went too late. He's not trying to take over necessarily. He's just taking Conley. Another miss three for a shot opportunity. Dort to Stephen Adams. Adams to Dort. Screen on Adams. OKC okay, has to get it. Gobert with the block. On the backboard. Oh, it's not on the front board. Oh, and it's sent the other way. Shea go Gorgeous Alexander. Adams taking his time here. Adams needs to take his time before he makes a shot. Here's Torch. Everybody's Gallinari outside. Here's Gallinari. And there's the foul on Bogdanovich, his second personal foul, stop the clock at 2.01. And, and they need to catch him up uh, with, with just 2.01 remaining. I totally agree. Well, one more look from here, Gallinari tried to get a little more, a little more uh, focus on, on the rim, but the, 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 the players keep picking on him, trying to get him off balance. He needs to stop coming up with uh, too many fouls. Two shots for Gallinari. First free throw. There's the first free throw for Gallinari. Here are new changes for uh, shooter for OKC. Gallinari switches off into a uh, small forward as Bushkala and Gallinari checked in. Now one shot for Gallinari. Confident and shoots really well. Gallinari has two. It's the first, first bucket of the night at the free throw line. Conley against Paul. Mitchell outside. Conley trying to pick up a screen. Oh, here's Mitchell. He's guarding closely. Guarding closely to McDonovich. Falls through. He's falls through as Conley picks up another point. Defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. Almost taken away by Donovan Mitchell. Passes it to Diallo. Diallo outside. 
almost went the other way, but it went almost went off the rejection. Madonovich with the layup, and that is overextending the lead. Two players in the lead do a better job of finding the open man than Mike Conley. Gallinari finds Adams. Back to Gallinari. Gallinari for three. Good! But that's a two-pointer right on the free throw, three, three point line. Yeah, he went behind the uh, three, three point line, and that might be two. That might be two pointer. Bring the ball for Utah. That's a two pointer for uh, Gallinari. The Pelicans start a three-game homestand with that game. Adams still showed up. O'Neal outside. Softly touches it right in as O'Neal tries to grab one. Paul pass to Gallinari. Back to Paul. Paul going right over to Muscala. Back to Gallinari. Three pointer is no good. Rudy Gobert is shooting another shot of ability. Conley shot getting out of the way. Great defense on uh, Muscala. You know what? This that might be another rebound that we might be seeing here. Play. You don't know what's going to happen. To the right side. Need some help here. Paul kicks to Gallinari. Gallinari for three. Wide open look no good. So that's the first, the end of the first half. 39 to 24. It came up too slow, and they're cold. We'll have to find out what contestant shots needs to be by by the between Utah and OKC. Here's David. Kevin, thanks. New Orleans, you guys had a tough time stopping their offense in the first half. What do you have to do differently? We got to protect the paint. They gave away too many easy baskets. You know, that's just communication on front of the post. And it's going to be okay. A lot more. Let's see if those changes stick. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Game 7 will continue after this message. Stay tuned. And we'll be right with you shortly. We are about to start to dive the second half in. As of right now, it being said, we're taking a look about uh, Rudy Gobert's uh, last game, and with so many blocks that he just made and did really well. The first thing that he did not see is was the uh, heavy contested shot. One of each players might be saying, "Well, quote, Rudy is definitely a genius uh, player, but we have definitely met him the back a couple of times since we first got drafted." But the second time we got here, here, then we meet again. Rudy Gobert is, is a definitely a greatest hero from uh, from the Utah Jazz. Rudy Gobert, I don't know why he's as strong like a bear, but I can't but I can't figure out if he's if it's only a bear a Gobert part. Shot clock at six. Six to go for the shot clock. Conley going outside. Good on the three-pointer. Three That's his third bucket of the night as the shots are gaining away. Play off the ball and punish the defense for giving him space. Adams dishes to Paul. Paul, reverse layup. It's good. Terrific play for uh, for Chris Paul as the pass comes up by Stephen Adams. Listen, put the ball in the hands of put the ball in the hand on the drive. There, there you go. There you go. There you go. That's how we do it. Gobert pass back to Mitchell. Bounce pass. Open shot by Bogdanovich. Nobody covered it on him. We need some man to cover on Bogdanovich. Don't let him get it inside and he'll be open. To Gilgis Alexander. Gil Gorgic's missing. Gobert with the defensive effort. And a big lead for him on both the scoreboard. And Rebounded by Gallinari. Thus far. That's 14 rebounds for OKC. Door. Door. Pass to Adams. He kicks it, he to kicks it off to Gallinari. The pass to Paul. The three. The three. Slightly missed, and it's uncovered already. And it's sent back by Mitchell! 
Tongue out. Okay, see, funders. We need someone to cover up the man on D. And if the funders can't help it, then their season is over. So right now, I'm just jumping something out. Dennis Schroeder is coming back in. Ferguson coming back in. And then, uh, and then uh, what do you call that? Oh. Takes your numbers up. Burton. We'll try to give it a we'll give it a shot. Everybody So let's figure out what who's gonna cover off Mike Conley. That will be Dennis Schroeder. And then it will be uh Boba Majanovic. Burton will cover her up. And Rudy Gobert will be Steven Adams. Oh yeah, try to make sure he runs on the baseline. Make sure, make sure there's nothing inside. Both teams will make some so both teams are just going for uh, going for some changes here. Check it out by Shea and Marcus Alexander. The last three days he's been playing. His shot may be too well often, but he may not be well enough to uh, give it another shot. So Rudy Gobert and Stephen Adams are still trying their way to keep it alive. Because but only Gobert just blocked it right out of the way. You can count on his nightly production. Conley alone, shots good. Schroeder went out wide, gained away, and said, you take that shot. This is not going really well. Only one miss in five attempts. I hate to say it, but this might be too far. Bogdanovich with a third personal foul. Just three fouls left for Bogdanovich. Schroeder for two. Yes! Goes in! And oh, that's a three. Let me try one more time. From the perimeter and earmark. Of today's game. Yep, you're right. He might. He's on the free point behind the free point in front of the free point line, and it's just by Ferguson. It's stolen by Schroeder. Shot goes in for Ferguson. O'Neal with the first personal foul. Any chance you get? They're running back in right now, and there looks like they're coming back in. McDonough checked out, and Eagles is checked in. Got to the rim and made a Only play. four fouls Jordan for uh, three fouls on McDonough. Having a hard time to pull it back up. OKC trying to keep it up the pace. Here's Clarkson, covered by Gilbert Alexander. Only two points. I don't know if he makes four points, but it might be too hard. Here's Clarkson. Clarkson, the fadeaway jumper, no good. Recovered by Stephen Adams as he has his first rebound of the night. Pass to Ferguson. Pass to Ferguson. Ferguson back to Bur by Burton. Back to Ferguson. Ferguson down to five on the down shot clock. Down to five the shot clock. Baseline Around angles. And it's Schroeder and missing. Schroeder missing. Angelo Conley will bring the ball for the job. Conley bringing it back up here with just eight points. Nine points for the three. Just over three. I don't know if it's just nine or eight points or ten. Like the same number. In the corner, O'Neal with Out of the way. O'Neal was missing the three point shot, and no assist coming out by Mike Conley. Burton misses first shot. I believe that he's better than that. Come on. Here's Schroeder. Schroeder again. Oh, Ferguson. Oh, piece of that time. No shot for Ingles. Now, Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander, pass to Schroeder. Now, here's Adams. He's covered by Clarkson. Oh, right on him. And Steven Adams gets out of the way, saying, saying, ooh, got a little bit messed. Ooh, got messed up, but recovered it. I got lucky. Gobert with a good recover. Gilbertus Alexander against Clarkson. Another miss by Utah. 2.13 left, trying to come for the win and the comeback. Burton missing the first shot, but he forgot to do the shot fake. 
Leia by O'Neill's picking up in. Timeout called by Funders. Just two He's minutes left. To get quality looks. A lot of quality looks here, trying to keep it back in, but it's not doing well. Yeah, Shaggy Gordis Alexander needs to be summed out, and then we're going to bring a Diallo back in. You have to want to. And then Steven Adams are going to be covered up, and then I'm just going to bring Noel in. Let's make sure it happens the right that moment. Focus one of each player's, uh, let's go we'll bear, make sure it's nothing inside, and then, uh, for well. So, uh, I think Noel will get from here. Just two minutes gone by here as both both players are making some substitutions and both two players are subbing out. Checking out Rudy Gobert, he only has 76.8. His field goal percentage since the last time he was in the All-Star game, he was playing really good right now. And his All-Star game, his career got into a better intense. He's working on his salary to give his to give it money a try. And the call. Off the foul will go on Rudy Gobert. The first, and Dort will send to the first trip to the free throw line. You know, when you look at his numbers this season, he's had a respectable yep. number. There he goes. There's the there's a shooting foul on Rudy Gobert. Now two shots will be Dort. Noel, sorry. The first first shot for good. Noel is good. Finally had it back in. We're just only one, and then we will have to see if he can make two. They hit goal with Donovan. 147 left. 51 to 47 is your score. Trying to figure out the right move. All three throws for Noel is good. And the heartbreak over losing him short lived, but the Jazz still needed to win. Clarkson needs to be covered right from here. The jazz retained. Do I press the button? And they made it. That might be the right thing to do. Learned along the way. O'Neal with the three. They are pulling, a, pulling away with one of our kill streak shooters. Here's Ferguson. Ferguson with the going to the line to shoot two. O'Neal with the second personal foul. Quinn Snyder giving him a lot of uh, giving him a lot of instructions for O'Neal, but he didn't follow directions. Ferguson with only two shots, but the one of a shot was being swept up. Ferguson will get to the line to shoot for two. Let's find out what he can do. After knowing Noel made two free throws. And the first one at the line is good. Royce O'Neill says subbed out. And Mitchell will be subbing in. Clarkson moves into the small four position. Made big strides. One shot from Ferguson. The shot and consistency will come, but but the fans will have to be patient with it. Mitchell. Two free throws for, for, for Ferguson has made it in. This is his good five points for uh, Ferguson, and now we're the free throws for the difference between Utah and OKC. Clarkson outside, covered by Muscala, around Rudy Gobert. Goes up at this time. Goes up at this time. And it's Nero and Noel with a rebound. To shoot his way out of this cold spell. Alone! Calling for the rebound by Schroeder, but nobody was here to help him out. For others, give someone else a chance. It's called a teammate. Heavy contested for Neural and the Wells, but it's got through. No foul called on OKC. Brutal period. 45 seconds left. Pass to Muscala. Muscala missing. Tough D by Rudy Gobert. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same. Tough move for Donovan Mitchell. Change it. Man. Putting it back in that time. 40 so, seconds to go. Muscala trying to find the right way. Uncontested shot at the rim. They're uncontesting the shot right at that moment, but they're looking all over the place. Passes it to Ferguson. Passing it right over to Diallo. Diallo kicks to Muscala for three. 
Oh, that's the same thing where he spotted him the last time. Unbelievable. In helping space the floor, he has tremendous Mitchell range. But just three seconds. For 12 is good. Going to try for deep from here. One more shot. Shooter! Oh, didn't get there in time. 58 to 40 freezer score. If the Jazz wins, then the game is over for the series of sudden death. Rudy Gobert still strong with Donovan Mitchell, and they're blocking him out of the way. Fourth quarter is next after this. Checking out the safe arm assist of the game as Bogdanovich only made some cut contested shots so he was never able to play it from here. Thanks to Jordan Clarkson who made a great assist that time. It was really hard to, con to contest with one shot abilities and the other. One of the different performances that uh, Clarkson has been playing with the Cavs since last season. And then this season he plays now playing with the Utah Jazz. Donovan Mitchell saying nope, too slow. Chris Paul. Try to uh, try to come up more. A much different player here in the second half. No, He's taking I'm not talking to one of the players on TV. I'm just saying about Donovan Mitchell. I'm making some quotes. Over Moody is good. Chris Paul grabs the back in. Around him, a great shot. Seven points for uh, for Chris Paul. As this won't be tough or long to keep his ability. Mitchell outside. Blocking the pass by Chris Paul. Watching screen on Gobert and Moody is checked in. Killing out. Finally has the first two point point in. Thunder trailing by seventeen. Thunder trailing by seventeen. Diallo inside. Diallo finding its way, not even picking that good, good room. Eleven times tonight, nailed five of them. And the, best and the basket for Ingles is good. They are getting away. Little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Here's Noel. Good on the right over Gobert. Noel picks up four points. We've gone about a minute. 49% for the Jazz and 49 for the Jazz, for Utah, I mean, Thunders. Against Paul. Here's Moody. Moody inside. Oh, that's a great shot. Here's Moody. Moody inside. 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 Moody and for the Funders, Diallo, Gallinari, Muscala. Gallinari switched to PF. Dort and Shai. Gil Gordix Alexander. To the left wing. To the left wing is Conley. Oh, Trying to call for out of bounds with the last touch. But Conley makes it in. And the Jazz leading, jazz leading by Mike Conley with a two. I don't know. I don't know. I can't the commentate He's that like one. a quarterback going through his progressions. And Tough here. Rudy Gobert stopped the drive. Saying, hey, you, you want to get over here? I want to give you a million bucks. No, not a million bucks. It might be too much. But Donovan Mitchell with the drive. No hesitation. He just takes Here it. Here's you get Gordon Alexander to drive. Yeah, he's a one-man show in transition. Shy missing. Play, taking it right to the rim. Here's Mitchell. Timeout. Called by OKC. Not going really good here on offense, but they are pulling away from the team. You see the confidence running through this. And I think Chris Paul will never see uh, the Rockets until next season. In 2021. Really a sponge. Donovan Mitchell watches a probably another choice is uh what about just the offense. A big part of his rise to stardom. Might be the only man that needs to be covered out. And, it, and uh, with all with all we have here, this might be the only suggestion that we can take. 
Oklahoma City. OKC okay, making some changes here after Chris Paul is checked out and Schroeder is checked it back in. Joe Ingles is checked out. O'Neal comes back in for the starting lineup. To absorb and take coaching. Yeah, not for Dennis Schroeder because it might be too much to compare with. Ooh, back pass. His decision making is The three for Gorgia Alexander goes in. Coming up by 20. They're continuing to find their way through. Back to Conley. To go for another shot. Dennis Schroeder watching the ball to the guard. O'Neal, the three offline. The foul's on Noel, and the shot's good for Gobert. He's undefeatable. Rudy Gobert with only one shot. I guess their I guess their city jersey and, and the court is much better than the uh, Thunder's court city court because it's totally different than the ever one. I'm not I'm not saying they have a win. But, it, but it's, cool, but it's a different size of court. Looks unbelievably incredible. Shea makes a drive and a dunk goes in. Right around Gobert and Donovan Mitchell. Yeah, just solid work on the back end of that play. Yep, you're right. Finish hard with two hands. Just under 3 325 left. Here's Conley. Conley with a finished drive. The bench is scoring, scoring the Jazz by seven. Oh, recovered. The jump ball called on on Trey and O'Neal. Gilbert and Alexander and O'Neal. Andy and O'Neal. Okay, so see, missing, and Utah wins the tip off. They lead by the biggest margin of the game. Oh, block five kills Gorgic at the right time. Mitchell makes it in. Shot is good. So, yeah, I think Chris Paul's team, they might be looking out for next season to find James Harden. But I don't know if it's going to be the right call to look for, as James Harden did play it, but I don't know if it might be the different uh, hair look of the face. Nice steal by Shooter. You're coming in. Woo! Just like onto the Kupo. Knocking the ball out. Just two turnovers for the Utah Jazz. 2.30 left. Jazz leading by 23. They're leading by 23. Going by the backcourt. Rudy Gobert running out of uh, running out of energy by the refueling the Gatorade. To the middle. Here's O'Neal. Thunder, Thunder with another rebound. Torch got his fourth rebound with that last That's his fourth tonight. rebound. Here's Gilgis Alexander. A rebound, no good. Shooter would have got a, got a great rebound here, but it but it won't be too hard again. Conley is just the Mitchell, and that's a foul. And there's a personal foul. Shea and Gorgeous Alexander takes his second personal foul. You try to push him out of the way, but you can't. You can't just do that. You know how that happens. He was already first in assists, steals, and three pointers. Ah. Gobert with only one fragment free throw, free throw and here are new changes. Last change is for the starters as there are out. William goes Tucker Nieng and Bradley are checked in, but only Gobert stays on. Nadir, Nadar, Burton, and Baisley are back in. 152 left to play here on the fourth. Just 150 left to go. Gobert stopping it, and a foul going on Burton. Right there. Their fourth team foul on OKC. Looking to improve officiating, Smitty. They'd like to revise the rule that hurts. to more closely match the way the game is played. Eleven points for Rudy Gobert and new changes for uh, the game has evolved to more three-point shots. For OKC, Dort is out and back in. Back in is Muscala. You know, room for guys to land. One shot left for Gobert. I think it will evolve, and it should be. Because the game he makes two free throws, and they're way and coming down ahead. Muscal is checked in. Rudy Gobert can change the game in so many ways. He does it with his limbs. Oh, what a shot by Schroeder! And Bradley has his first personal foul. Right now, one shot for Schroeder is on. Gobert is subbed out, and coming in is uh, Mitchell. 
Didn't really seem to like uh, point four position. Dennis Schroeder, the 17 Dennis Schroeder with a finishing move. 2013 out of Germany. He's got a flair you know, eight points. with European players. Just uh, under four, 140 left. Went out of bounds. Able to retain that was able to retain the ball for uh, for funders, but it's still Utah ball. Fantastic anticipation. He has active hands. Even though he doesn't come away with the turnover, he's disrupting their offensive. Finding field. a look on open offense. Only Donovan Mitchell was off the street. Yang against Nader. Niang finds Bradley. Bradley going over to Mitchell. Jazz, Jazz moving the ball around. Tuck, just Tucker trying shoot. to tuck the ball. Here's Tucker. Oh, but the shot. And Tucker the missed the shot. Completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance. And it really William goes trying to give him a, a give him the first really shot. Here for the Jazz. Fouls going on Burton, his second. Tell you what, both That's their 15 foul for OKC. They're not having a great day playing one of each game. And I tell you, I'm I'm weak playing as a pro. I just can't help it. You know why? It's too much. Really phenomenal all around. William goes with only one shot. Hey! That was not fair! The most excited of those. One of these players are just like seven having their hard time, but this might be too much. And the whistle blows. It's gonna be a Mike Muscala. Mike Muscala with the reach and foul. Now two on one will go on by. And he can't get the first one. One of these players did not have the right choice. And he sinks. He sinks in a second. There's a built-in respect for coaches who played in the NBA. The Jazz, Quinn Snyder, never made it that far. But as Dennis Schroeder, a heavy contestant, but he made it. Final four appearances. Ten points for Schroeder. Wonder where. Just coming down to a are. final well, second to go. Becomes, are they playing that much better now, or has their ghost time to the rest of the to night? Yang. Niang, Niang to William Ghost, and that, one, and that one's a two-pointer for, for William Ghost. And this is their reward. He never had a chance to try it, it's gonna but be he did. Fun flight home. Nader for three. The same shot, just like Muscala and Chris Paul did. Open shooters in this league. One of each open Everyone shooters are definitely looking very really nice. And they can just let the clock run out here. Cannot yeah. argue. But we're running out of time. Three They're calling for a for personal foul on Burton and his third. Right there. And you can see where they're coming from. Stopping the clock at 18 seconds five. left. Really, they're just kidding themselves. One on one will be Bradley. I don't know if it's a right call. I don't know if that's his name. And he makes the first. He makes the first. Tucker. That's his name. Not to be confused with PJ Tucker. I'm so mean by that. I'm serious. I'm serious, man. And so here is Oklahoma City. Basically, this shot and that turns into jazz ball. Jazz or Utah ball. I'm getting a little bit. I'm getting a little bit. I'm getting a little bit dizziness. Nine seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And we will have to wait. And we're, and both teams oh, will congratulate to the other teams for making it to the next round. And, so it's your draw. and it's yes, really that will conclude the first round for them. of the and NBA and playoffs. OKC okay, will be back right next season to play against the uh, Rockets uh, the at, at the Chesapeake Arena. And, done on the road. and with only on the road, it's it's how things are happening, changing quickly. David. Let's check out David Aldridge. Kevin, thanks. Rudy, another strong performance from you guys. How good is this team playing right now? Uh, we're playing great. You know, uh, it's all about defense. You know, when we play defense, when we focus, we communicate. And after we get this stuff on conference again. Rudy, a great win. Congrats. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you. All right, thank you, David. Thank you all for tuning in the first round. Our second round matchup will be the Raptors facing against the. This is Kevin Harlan. Will be the Raptors taking on against the Bucks. Then Dallas Mavericks taking on against the Utah Jazz. And then it will be the Lakers taking on against the Rockets. And then it will be, uh, you know, what I'm calling for the. Uh, 
Heat versus the Sixers. And then, and then that will be it. That's all I'm going to have to see what about the round two will look like. So, thanks for all for tuning in the first round. And now here's your Jordan player of the game. That three blocks goes out to Rudy Gobert with just six points, one block, and just a lot of blocks as he can. That's three times in a row that he's got. One of the single best shots ever picking up rebounds and putbacks. There might be only one that it cannot be found right anywhere from the court. And that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. And I'll say it again. Our round two matchup will be Sixers against the Heat. Um, the first one, it will be at Philly. And then it will be... Uh, it will be the Bucks against the Raptors. The first game will be at Milwaukee. And then it will be um, Lakers against the Mavericks as they'll, they'll start the Mavericks uh, in Dallas first in game one. And by that time, it will be the Rock, oh no, Rockets against the Lakers. I'm sorry. Did I get confused right now? I'm sorry. Uh, first, uh, First, first game for Rockets against the Lakers. This one will be at L.A. Then it will be Utah Jazz against Dallas Mavericks at Dallas. And then finally... Okay, I think I seriously... I th you know what? I think I should cover all right now. So yeah. Why don't I agree anything? With that being said, thank you all for tuning in, and we'd like to say, peace out, bitches. Till next time for second round of the NBA playoff dial. Peace out, and see you guys in the next round. And then it's the Western Conference and Eastern Conference Championship game. And then the finals. Good night, folks, at OKC, Loud City.